want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Wadash, double honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the sincere Akim that's pushing the truth to the Holy Scriptures in fear and sincerity and truth. All right, this is Brother Yawasap, Brother Yakal, Brother Yaramyo. All right, and we want to go to go into a lesson called um, Greedy to the Grave, right? Because, you know, um, Spirit was on me this week, and I, I was just today, I was mentioning to somebody that, yeah, Spirit was on me today, and just today, I was mentioning to somebody that um, everybody just greedy. Everybody just trying to grab as much as they can. And, you know, they, 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 they got no compassion or anything. They ain't conscious of the, the, the actions. And now, all that comes from the vibration of Esau, you know. What is, what, what is, what is say, you know? A looking fit. You know, you could just say, where is it? <laughs> you ask it, where is it? Roughly yeah. paraphrasing. And, um, and it was like, yo, I gotta get it how I live. I gotta go there and grind. You know? You know, I got, I got, was it 24 7? I, I hustle every day, I hustling. Them, them meditation, you know? So we can go into it through the spirit art. Yeah, it's really Sirach 10 and 9, Babakusha. Yeah, this Sirach chapter 10, verse 9, it says, Why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. Mm -hmm. For such an one set it his own soul to sail. Yeah, because why is ashes and earth proud? It's talking about, you know, of the dust we made. Of the, of the, of the dust, the ashes we come from, all right? And nothing's more wicked than a man who's co so covetous he would sell his own damn soul for, for, for even more ashes and dust and earth. It's all this gonna pass away. Every bit of it, alright? Yeah, he says, because while he live it, he cast he cast it away his bowels. Yeah, he has no integrity, he has no cojones as they would say. Some people would say he has no no um value. No, um, it's another word, man. Principle. You know? He sell himself shot. And he feel that there's a good quality for he, for he, he bend over backwards. Forget these, these kind of things. You know, even though, even though the most, the scripture says good for a man to labor, enjoy the, the, the fruits he labor and so forth. They got, they got, the, the, most of the, most of the people in, under the, uh, vibration of Esau, billions of jakes and heathens, they they believe that you know they just gotta get everything everybody always saying some stuff like the world is mine shit i used to say to when i was in the world the world is mine you know i, I want to rule the world or i want i want to see the world i want to own the world even the clung little wind they do a song name they want to buy the world you know yeah read the precept god yeah. this is Sirach 14 and verse 6 There is none, none worse than he that envieth himself mm -hmm. and this is the recompense of his wickedness Alright, there's none worse than a man who envieth himself as in the most I give you blessings for, you know, if you relax give you a bed, give you a house but he never home he never home and when he eating, he eating on the road, he can't sit down and just enjoy the meal, treat himself, you know. He might feel that he dressing up and he, he going to certain places and so forth. And then, then there's those that, anyway, we, these precepts can bring it out. Go ahead, ah. And if he do it good, mm -hmm. he do it, it unwillingly. Unwillingly. Because why? What are they going to do? They're going to go to a fancy restaurant and what are they going to do, ah? They're going to take a pitch it. For the world, for get more likes, for be more popular, and sometimes some and them is be selling themselves out for, for um for likes on fa on Facebook, Instagram, and stuff like that. This is them setting the soul for sale. Go ahead, ah. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness. Yeah, his wickedness as in slothful and the idle, and he's showing no gratitude. Like the idea, this guy was posting a video. This guy stand up at this um this this reef or this, some edge of some ocean type of thing. And he, he shouted, he's like, Father, I want to thank you for all this and so forth. It's like a prayer he's putting up and, and this is what they're doing. They're doing it for hype. They're doing it to shine. You know? 
Scripture said with the most high, we, we are doing secret, the most high can bless you openly. You want to say something? Yeah, you want to say something? Yeah. Go ahead. And verse 8. The envious man had it a wicked eye. Mm -hmm. He turned it away, his face, and despised it men. Yeah. You know what i Yeah, wicked eye, he despised despise men because he's like, why this man got to get more than me? Why this man got this bike? Why this man got this woman? Why this man got, got this, these good looks? All them shit they envy and cause why the fucking bleaching themselves these days? The wearing makeup? The, 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 the spraying all line up on the head? The, the fucking... Uh, the airbrushing, the fucking barbers now got stencil for your hairline? And them all spray that shit? You know? I even see... People are going bald them are spraying on the shit too. I said bye. <laughs> this world real real bane and idle. Where Can a covetous man's eyes eye is not satisfied with his portion. He's not satisfied with his portion. The most I said this is for you. It's like the dog in the bone. The dog in the bone. He, you done got something. You can't even you can't even enjoy or take take care of what you got. Uh, you're worrying with you're worrying with what other people got and next thing you know you end up you end up dead or you get sick and this is the most I do that's why he scripted at the beginning and this is the recompense of his wickedness you understand actually go to Ecclesiastes 5 9 to 15 don't follow nice yeah yeah slack it brother right the greedy the greedy the envy the own self body go ahead out Ecclesiastes. Yeah. It is uh, Ecclesiastes 5. We don't slack here, he got finished. Oh, okay. Can. And the iniquity of the wicked dried up his soul. You see what I'm going dried up his soul? He got no identity left. When he, when he you having a conversation, what he want to talk about work. Yeah, boy, when I make this I money, yeah, boy, I could do X, Y, and Z. You can't even have a, a, a spiritual conversation with these people, buddy. And if, and if it's if it's not about work, go to time with bitches or some gay ass fucking conversation well, over here. The yeah, man has make a set of fucking Batman jokes, boy. Especially on construction site and then shit, boy. And this 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 is why the scriptures say um, that the iniquity dried up his soul because yeah. remember the the word is is water. Can right? can. If you get it water, then you dry. This is yeah. Desert. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. Then got no substance. Body, the body of the world, the dry bones. Valley slack your know, body. Valley, the valley of the dry bones. Alright? Read verse 10, Babusha. Verse 10. A wicked eye envieth his bread. Mm -hmm. And he is a niggard at, at his, his table. table. He's a nigger at his own table, buddy. Go ahead, could you preach up? Yeah. It is uh, Ecclesiastes 5, verse 9. Yeah, says, Moreover, the prophet of the earth. Slack your set back again. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 9 mm -hmm. Moreover the prophet of the earth is for all The king the king himself is served by the field Good The prophet of the earth is for all Everybody The most I make everything in abundance for everybody But no One man will to rule everything But this is not for none of them This is for Yahweh Shai Everything was created for him and by him as it is written Alright Greta Verse 10 it says he that loveth silver shall not be satisfied with silver. You see that he that loveth silver shall not be sat shall not be satisfied with silver. All right, another time we can look into the word silver. Right, right go ahead. Huh? Nor he that loveth abundance with increase. This is also vanity. See that he, nor he that loveth abundance with increase. See that he got abundance and he want increase. What's the joke you make about the movie? We shall double our already. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think it was the campaign. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. The, the Edomite, Edomite, they had a big um, farm, right? And we were saying is that they're gonna move the the, the operations to China, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna get cheap labor. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna <laughs> double. They already doubled the profits. <laughs> <laughs> so there's what it's saying. Nor he that loveth abundance with increase. This also is vanity. And this is what happening right now, me workplace, everybody workplace, you know, these men are satisfied right now, we on, I don't know if we on the staff or the, or the man just want, just want to take everything. 
And hey. the spirit of me out. I didn't I ain't saying no. You understand? Go ahead. Uh. Yeah, and, and this true even even at my workplace, the man cut every department. Every department was downsized. Yeah. Everybody had to do, you know, two times what they was doing before. Yeah, yeah. You see, and everybody feeling the pressure and why they, they keep saying is that, you know, for financial reason. You know, and this this the, the, the scripture that you read earlier saying that um, or I don't know if it was scripture you were saying that nobody they they not consider it. Yeah, I was saying, I was saying that. Yeah, the right. Saying, yeah. You know, they they not they not consider it. It's all about the money. You know, like um, alkaline says, all about the money. <laughs> you see? Yeah. And like Puffy says, all about the Benjamins. Exactly. Yeah. Go ahead. And the Ecclesiastes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ecclesiastes 5 and um, 11. verse 11 it says, When goods increase, they are increased that eat to them. Mm -hmm. And what good is there to the owners thereof, saving the beholding of them with their eyes? Good. So they got all these increase. They got lavish house. I hear James, he said, he said, he got a condo, he never, he never slept in, he got watches, he never wear. You understand? I mean, we in the kingdom, we can be like that, but this we how about, matter of fact, we can enjoy everything because we can understand and we can value it because we were, we was brought lower than the, than the heathens. So we can, we can really show them how to enjoy things, buddy. We can really show them how for, how for, how for, um, not to be wasteful. You know, we not be, it's not going to be amazing what the, mo, the, the vibration, how about Shimei Shaggy and Gabi Yonder, we can, everything can be back in order. Everything can flow. You, you can take what you need. And not because it's there. You know? And by, by we can be at such a high vibration, we can require those things. Because when the scriptures talk about your how about Hashem, Yahweh Shai throne. The glory of the throne. Let's talk about um, in, in Exodus, I think it's Exodus. When, um, when, when, when uh, I believe it was heaven or a chariot, if I'm not mistaken. The floor was like sapphire. That's because those things give off vibration and energy that suits suits the spiritual energy. And that's why this world left with the little the little left left. The little scraps. And people they did fucking crabs in the barrel for the crap were going on in this kingdom. That's what I said, greed to the grave. Because the greed that they the things that they're fighting for can just carry them to the grave. Greta? That's why it says I'm um, saving beholding of them eyes with their eyes because they could just see it, but they can't get it. Yeah. They can't enjoy it. Greta. Verse um, 12 it says, The sleep of a laboring man is sweet, mm -hmm. whether he eat little or much, but the abundance of the rich will not suffer him to sleep. Why? Because he's studying for getting more. Yeah, he can. He's, so, he, he, he's studying for getting more. How I could turn this over? How I could this and done, done. Nightmare for sleep, <laughs> but you know we in captivity. You know we we got we got work. Some we got work two three jobs because this this the um the the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. You know, brother. It is Sir Actor the one on one. It says, watching for riches consuming the flesh, Woo! and the cares thereof drive it away sleep. Bring it out, huh? Bring it out. There's a yapa precept, huh? Yeah, 30. Uh, verse 2 it says, Watching care will not let a man slumber mm. as a sore disease breaketh sleep. Can. Alright? Every every minute, everything you do when you're studying about your money and how yeah, yeah, yeah. you get, you hope nobody in, you can start becoming paranoid. You know, yeah. you, you ain't hope nobody teething from you. Like, like right now, they got people at my workplace uh, doing audits. Audits and the finances yeah. you know, to ensure that whatever coming in is what is spending and they account for every last cent. <laughs> Shit. Because <laughs> <You know? laughs> the economy collapsing, buddy. So everybody trying for scrummage and scrape, right? Scrape, scrape the last bottom of the pot till a hole go through. And um, they, they want to maintain this, this lifestyle and the feel, could, the feel, the feel, they say, yeah, I gotta get better, I gotta do better. But they don't understand this whole thing and collapse on them, buddy. Because, well, 
the scraping from the bottom and who on top you and on top so if you take if you dig way dig way the bottom you're not far <laughs> yeah go ahead uh. yeah, that was it. go back to the ecclesiastes and you read in verse 12 yeah. no read on verse 13. yeah ecclesiastes 5 verse 13 it says there's a sore evil which i've seen under the sun mm -hmm. namely rich riches kept for the owners thereof to their hurt Ooh, you see that there's a sore evil riches kept for their own hurt because what the scripture says um set your affections above and not below yeah, roughly paraphrase it and um what's that one that says set your treasures in heaven where moth and rust does not corrupt this is what it mean you know people can rob them they're gonna be stressed out family members gonna be harassed them a lot of celebrities go batshit fucking crazy because i think and 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 they, they do different things to try to cope, but they're not coping. It's just dead zombies. That's why it said dry it up the soul, you know? Brother? Yeah. Um, 14. 14, it says, But those riches perish by evil travail, mm -hmm. and evil get to the sun, mm -hmm. and there is nothing in his hand. You see that? Those riches perish by evil travail. Everybody, and when they die, when, when the own family kill them, what's happening? They're fighting for the will. And the only man who left the will to dark. Them. <laughs> and then when the final is 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 uh money money um riches gained by by deceit and, and wickedness right and the irs is take it yeah. and son, go ahead up verse 15 verse 15 it says as he came forth of as he came forth of his mother's womb mm -hmm. naked shall he return to go as he came yep. and shall take nothing of his labor which he may carry away in his hand. Can and that's why that's why today is called spiritually Egypt. Because these motherfuckers really think they can carry these gold to the grave, buddy. Carry the wealth to the grave. Like the Egyptians who try to bury themselves and who bust in the door and kick it and take all the stuff. Isa. Isa rummaged the, the, the sepulchres. The sarcophagus. <laughs> um, Isa Isa even even Isa even take the carps and all and got them in a museum. <laughs> Like we want everything. <laughs> Isa even pimp out the the the, uh, the pyramid of Giza, making tour guides. Yeah, y'all come and see this shit. We can make money out of the dead. Yeah, great Sirach third one, verse twelve to sixteen, Babusha. Can Sirach third one, verse twelve. Mm -hmm. If thou sit at a bountiful table, mm -hmm. be not greedy upon it. And say not, there is much meat on it. Mm. Yeah, if thou sit at the bountiful table, be not greedy upon it, and say not, there is much meat on it. Now, this this speaking of food directly, and it could use, um, you know, it could be versed with with his precepts. You know, this Esau, he's sitting at the bountiful table. Is he table too? You know. And he said, there's much food in it, right? And he's still being greedy. He still want to put more more food on the table. Yeah. You know, wasting wasting food. And like like for example, it's got stuff like food fights. People just throwing food at one another. And people starving around the world. But to help the poor. So why the fuck you got um like for example, I believe it in one of those um Euro European countries, so called European countries. They got this thing called the tomato fest or some shit like that. We was pelting tomatoes at one another. The whole streets has been covered in tomatoes. Anyway, go ahead, go ahead. Verse 13. Remember that a wicked eye mm -hmm. is an evil thing. Mm -hmm. And what is created more wicked Ooh. than an eye? Mm -hmm. Therefore, it weepeth upon every occasion. Yeah, because the scripture says in Ecclesiastes, the eyes is never satisfied with seeing. And the, pe the vibration with everybody on up because of Esau tactics, Esau left hand um, thing, we get in counsel from left hand Shatan, who we are about to show me which I send <laughs> for, for give you the little information. When um, when Esau put on this imagery of, of these celebrities and other people dressing these things and food and stuff like that, it's for you feel like you, you ain't nothing without these things it's for you feel that that you can't be content without these things you have to get these things 
that, that you portion is what you see because you see it you feel this you portion you understand and um when it says um what's more wicked than the eye it's not what's gonna say but anyway look at that it's straight mm. stretch not thine hand you see though with forever it look it mm -hmm. and trust it not with him in the ditch into the dish into right the dish. So now because you see it, you gotta snatch it and put it on and put it behind. You gotta get this graphic kind of buffet style. You know what I feel? He saw still vex over the chicken stewy salty bird, right? For now, cause. <laughs> Judge Venison. not thy neighbor no, by thyself, yeah. and be decreed in every point. It says, Judge, judge not thy neighbor by thyself. And, and be discreet in every point, right? So don't judge a man because, you know, because he's taking a little bit and, and you know, um, what are trying to say? Be discreet in every point. Eat with discretion. Eat with discretion. Know what's good for your soul. Because you could choke on the same thing and die. You know, among other things. Get sick, you know? And there's another thing too. People gluttony in this kingdom, buddy. People got no self-control when it comes to eating. You know? No self-control. Where that? Can eat as it becometh mm. a man those things which are set before thee mm -hmm. and devour oh, not. not, not lest thou be hated. Hated, right? Hated. Yeah, like for example, something in the verse before when it says um, be discreet in every point, remind me of somebody telling me that they never fasted and they supposed to, they they this one play like you know they, you know they real close to how about she may shine you never fast when the scripture says when your how shall I said when 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 the when the um when the bridegroom leave then they shall fast we command it to fast and what and what the scripture says these go not by prayer only but by fast. Like fasting as well, okay. roughly paraphrasing. Because Matthew 4 and 4, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every every word that come out of how bash in your shine mouth. You know? The scripture talk about them making making um, the belly their God. That was quick for stick something in the mouth. Can't bear hunger for a little a little couple hour. And the wine and cry my belly burning and thing and third third. Hey, yeah, you you get precepto? Yeah. It's Proverbs one verse fifteen. Why? It says, "My yeah. son, yeah. walk now, walk not thou in the way with them, mm -hmm. free thy foot from thy from their path." Read on for you, see? Yeah, yeah, you got to tell. Ah, all right. Yeah, at least Proverbs one verse ten says, "My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not." Yeah, because this this would this be vibration he saw set in everybody in. Yeah. Yeah. This is vibration he saw set everybody in. Y'all, let me team up, and let me, and let me um, let me let me let me make some money and stuff like that. What are they gonna do though? They're gonna, let me let me let me cut to the point. Let me sell some drugs. We sell some weed for people to smoke, you know. Let we um, let we go, let we go and and, and rob we boss man. <laughs> like like where I used to work, they tried to pull me up into it, and this precept cut me in the spirit, cause I always like this precept. My son of sinners entice he consent thou not. They tell me, hey, let me hold a medi and we could do X, Y, and Z. We can break the bread up, you know. This wickedness and just yeah, night I was talking to somebody, our, our colleague about it though. And I tell shit, tell shit don't do though. You know, go ahead. Huh? Yeah, for some. Um, What's that? Yeah, verse eleven it says, if they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Mm -hmm. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Yeah, and it mean literally. Well, yeah, it mean literally blood. Right? But it also mean as in you know you're causing some sort of harm harm like like it's a blood sucker then. Meaning that you're sucking all the substance out of out of people. 
the vitality looking for either rob somebody some money rob them the peace of mind you know mm -hmm. go ahead up. yeah it says um uh verse 12 says let it's like 11 if they say come with us let us lay wait for blood mm -hmm. let us let us walk, lurk privily for the innocent without cause mm -hmm. let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as the as those that go down into the pit mm -hmm. we shall find all precious substance we shall fill our houses with spoil mm -hmm. cast in thy lot among us and let us all have one purse good so they want they want you to invest in a heist <laughs> you know and this will and this will um and just yeah, they were talking about the the oil and the contract and stuff like that. When they when they found out that the the guy, the guy in Trinidad who first who first did the contract, to, to do away with his contract, and again new guy in London that had ties with Exxon Mobil. Two of them cast the lots together. They can collect a fine change, and he collect a fine change, and Exxon Mobil going clean up the rest. Where that? It says, They're sucking the blood out of the earth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Verse 15. Yeah, 15 it says, um, my son, walk not thou in the way of, mm -hmm. with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. Mm -hmm. It says, um, for their feet run to evil and mm -hmm. make ace to shed blood. Yeah, the feet run to evil. You know, they're looking for the, the next the next person that could rob. You know, go ahead. Yeah, it says, um, 17, surely in vain is their net spread in the sight of any bird. Mm -hmm. See, in, of any bird, go ahead. Uh. 18, it says, and they lay wait for their own blood. Their own blood. They lurk privily for their own lives. Yeah, because whatever you sow, you can reap. Everything they're trying to be unrighteous, be unrighteous gain, can turn back. The most I shall recompense them everything. Go ahead. Yep. Last verse. Yeah. Uh, like 19. Look at say, right? Mm -hmm. Like, for example, Esau, right? Um, what you would do, you would genetically uh, modify the the, um, the food, right? Mm -hmm. Which in which in that was that was that's an attempt to um, decrease the population of so-called Negroes, Latinos, yeah. and Hispanics. Yeah. But in turn, it's fucking up his lineage. Yeah. All right. Like right now, they were saying that um, you know, science and the bullshit that in in twenty something something, mm -hmm. they they project that the um that the white race gonna be extinct. <laughs> you know. So what are they doing now? They they trying to cross breed with the strong nation, which is um, the Israelites. The Jakes. Right, which show that you know they really and truly they lurk privily for their own blood. Yep, yep. They, they sneer and they trap, they set it for themselves. Shit, shit. But that's why the scripture said the most I come and sift them out, just separate the goats from the sheep. Yep. You, 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 hey, you could cross breed plants, but the most I know every spirit, every everything that you turn upside down. So don't come around the most I funny. God, and even even the the, the chemtrails, mm -hmm. they still getting fucked up by the chemtrails too. It make no sense. Go ahead. Uh. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Uh, 20? 19. 19 it says, So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain. You see that? Which take it away the life of the owners thereof. Yeah. The greedy of gain. Right? The greedy of gain. You got the Acts at? Okay. Acts 20 and verse 35. I have shown you all things. Mm -hmm. How that so laboring you ought to support the weak. Yeah, we laboring, we support we should support the weak. But what are they doing? They're oppressing the weak. Alright, they're oppressing the weak. And that's why the most I can use the weak for destroy the mighty. I use the foolish for confound the wise. You know? Go ahead. Okay. And to remember the words of Yahweh. How was Shia? Mm -hmm. right. How he said, it is more blessed to give 
than to receive. It is more blessed to give than to receive. And this is what Esau never learned. Esau never learned. You know? It's better to give than receive. Because the scriptures talk about arms in Tobit. You know? Yeah. How, you, how you're storing up treasures in heaven. And Israel got a gen, the, the general spirit. Huh? Israel would throw the belly. Throw the, would give, buddy. And, and it proved that poor people generally more giving than than rich, rich. people yeah because they're looking for gain yeah no. and, and and yeah go ahead, go ahead. yeah yeah they, they say that you could never get you could never get rich if you if you give if you give this is what it say you can never get rich if you give but the scripture what the scripture said about israel i know thy works and thy tribulation but thou art rich go thou 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 be poor roughly paraphrase it yeah. you know so it's better to give than to receive. You want to say anything like any precept? Yeah, uh, like did they say, right? That the more you get, the more you just want. Mm. Right? And this, this, this is going on with these people. Yeah. You know, the more money they get, the more money they want. Nah. You're never satisfied. Yeah, like uh, Benji said, never satisfied. Oh, maybe it was about a girl, but anyway. Yeah. Um, if we pray that this lesson was very fine, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rakak, Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to you sincere Akim to water for tuning in. Um, until another time, we might do a part two. Shalom, Rakta. Shalom.